Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing well today. I went to the art supply shop and I'm gonna show you what I got. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, so here's my art haul. Uh, I picked up four items, some oil pastels, uh, my go-to sketchbook, it's by Alt Art Alternatives. It's a five and a half by eight inch uh, black hard cover sketchbook. That's what I've been using for the last few years. And I saw this on the uh, shelves. It's a travel sketchbook, travel journal by Hanemule. It's a German company, I believe. Uh, they do fine art paper. I usually, I picked up the sketchbook because I recognize their name. I print, uh, Gikli prints on their print uh, art paper and I'm really happy with the quality of the print. So I thought, why not give um, their sketchbook a try? And I got two of them. I feel I feel like it's Christmas morning today. So let's get into it. Uh, let's get into some more detail. The first one, my go-to sketchbook. Like I said, it's a five and a half by eight inch sketchbook. And the thing about that is it's 75 pounds, 110 sheets. Um, and it's a nice enough paper. It's not thick, it won't take any washes, heavy duty washes. But fortunately for me, I use a ballpoint pen, um, fountain pen ink, maybe a light wash, but that's the extent of uh, the multimedia I use uh, in this particular sketchbook. Jumping into the Hanemule uh, sketchbook, what really caught my attention was how it's bound. Um, it's not like this sort of, to me this, this is like a very, it's perfect bound. So it's glued to the spine. A uh, bunch of signatures are sewn together. You could see the stitching there, I hope. You could see the stitching there. So all these different paper signatures are stacked together, stitched, and then glued to a spine. And I'm pretty rough with my sketchbooks. I'll show you an old sketchbook. Um, these are one of the sketchbooks I used for sketching everyday project in 2023. As you could see, that spine is totally ripped off. It's gone. I just throw it in the bag and hope for the best. Not that I intentionally uh, try to wreck my sketchbooks, but I really don't, I'm not precious about them. So I want something a bit more sturdier that holds up to my everyday wear and tear. So that's why I went to this guy. I saw this in the packaging and it doesn't have that sort of defined spine. It's just smooth. So hopefully that'll take care of it. Let's open it up. So the, this one is a hundred and, or sorry, 75 pounds or 110 grams per square meter. This one reads uh, 140 grams per square meter. However, it only has 62 sheets. This has 110, so there's a bit more paper in here, but this one's a bit heavier duty paper. Hopefully, um, I'll get to play with uh, some washes and um, other liquid-based mediums. Ooh, it has this nice elastic thing, which I, I'm not too sure I like that because I, I, over time it'll, I think, just get loose and not be so tight to the sketchbook. But, you know, I might be a bit more careful with the sketchbook. Let's open, oh, uh, it has this guy. Let's rip that open. Oh, the so the tint is a bit, more creamy. Um, let's open it, the other sketchbook for comparison. So this one, I hope you could see that. Yeah, you could see the difference here. So this sketchbook, my go-to sketchbook, it's like a bleached white, and this is a bit creamier. Okay. The two papers are smooth. There's no uh, teeth to it. Next time I'll probably look for a sketchbook that's cold pressed, that has a bit of tooth, bit of texture. Um, oh, and it has a bookmark thingy. That's interesting. 
Oh, that's great. Look, it lies flat. So I could draw right across uh, the spread without interruption. It's stitched, which I guess is good. I'll tell you uh, in a, another video how I found the sketchbook. Oh, pretty good. And the paper definitely is thicker. It might take a few more washes than um, than this sketchbook. We'll see how it goes. But I'm looking forward to using this new sketchbook. Let's set that aside. Oh, look at the spine. It's already creasing a bit when I just open it up. I wonder how, how sturdy it'll be. Anyways, let's set that aside. Let's set that aside. Oil pastels, let's get into it. If, uh, if anybody is watching this video and have, has more experience with oil pastels, give me a few tips, hints on how I could um, make these guys work efficiently for me. Nothing special here. I will give these a test run. Let's give it a test run on the paper in this new sketchbook. It's taking the uh, pastels quite well. Interesting. I wonder how you could fix the oil pastel onto a page. The, is the traditional fixative a good uh, solution for that? That's another question that you guys could help me answer. So anyways, that's it. That's my art haul for today. Um, if you have any questions on uh, the sketchbooks, which I'm more in line with, which I have uh, a bit more experience with over the oil pastels, drop me a question. If not, thanks for joining me. Tell me what your favorite brand of sketchbook is. I'd, I'd be interested to hear what the world is using when it comes to art journaling. So that is it for me, folks. Thank again, thanks again for joining me. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.